The next thing you should know about is what a pod is. These are the smallest and most basic units within the Kubernetes object model that you can create or deploy. They may hold a single or multiple containers dependent on your needs. Next, we have a node. A node refers to what you would call a worker machine within Kubernetes. And this could be a virtual machine or even a physical computer that contains the necessary services to manage the networking between the containers, communicate with the master node, and assign resources to the scheduled containers. Next, we have the cluster. A Kubernetes cluster is essentially a set of nodes that are used to run containerized applications. These applications are managed by Kubernetes, ensuring that resources are efficiently used and that the applications are running as expected. Next, we have the namespace. Namespaces in Kubernetes are a way to divide cluster resources between multiple users. They're very instrumental in environments with many users spread across multiple teams or projects.